all right guys we're gonna make a great supper tonight I thought I'd bring you along uh, this is going to be more or less I'm trying to get back on my whole food diet again with the potato actually diet starchy foods but you can see that we've got onions today garlic celery carrots potatoes of course and some kernel corn and then I've got a, a gravy I'm gonna to put to make so the idea behind this um, diet is a lot of starch so this diet is a whole food diet um, natural whole foods like a lot of starchy foods got off all my medications my diabetes uh, uh, medications went in to see my diabetic nurse and she told me I don't believe it I can't believe what numbers you have your cholesterol is perfect your uh, a1c is perfect like what have you been eating and I just simply told her I've been eating everything you told me not to eat I'm eating all starch foods potatoes pasta rice the stuff I really like and then I fell off the wagon I started eating meat again this diet might not work for everyone this diet worked for me it's uh, dr. McDougall's diet like uh, lentils are really good beans the idea is to make I'm making mashed potatoes tonight you have to like potatoes in order to eat potatoes almost every day different kinds without using fat no butter just maybe a little bit of salt uh, don't put any milk and butter in your potatoes to mash them up creamy just boil them mash them up and uh, put your I'm gonna make the gravy this is not a good thing either but it has zero fat so and then you put your other ingredients just on top of your potatoes no meat so let's start let's do some cooking here guys we'll put it together I'll show you what it looks like when it's done okay I thought there's no sense watching me chop up everything but we have the onions in here we have garlic we have carrots and we have the celery in here I'm gonna cook this a little bit first and then I'm gonna put the corn in later and then I'm gonna add the gravy but again no oil I'm not gonna cook with any oil in here okay the potatoes are boiling nicely I had those two I guess medium-sized potatoes I've got the vegetables here are the um, yeah the vegetables going the carrots the onions the celery the um, garlic and then I've got the corn here I will put that in when the onion starts uh, when the onions get ready here a little bit in the celery we don't want to overdo this keep all the nutrients in there so they won't uh, over fry these I put a little bit of water in there no oil guys no oil like I said this might not be for everyone this diet is not for everyone <clears throat> first of all you have to like starchy foods and if you've got any uh, any comments please put them in the uh, comment below and uh, let me know what you think this is not a vegan diet okay it's time I add the corn so let's put the corn to the mix I got the smallest can of corn I could find now does that not look colorful or what All I did was just add water to this and it passes the taste test so <laughs> let's let that go for a little bit check the potato and we'll get my trusty spork if you don't have a spork you need one 
a spoon and a fork together. Those are done. Okay, the potatoes are mashed and ready to go. And my vegetables and gravy is ready to go. I'm going to eat all the potatoes. That looks like a lot, but I'm going to eat it all. Not all of the vegetables, though, but let me just plate this up. You let me know when you think it's too much. <laughs> and then when I take a reading, a blood sugar reading after the fact, we'll see what this kind of meal will do to a diabetic. And like my number was pretty high to begin with. I don't know why it's that high, but it's, I still haven't got fully on this diet yet, so... could be part of the reason. So there's no butter, nothing in here. Just boil the potatoes. All right, let us put some of this beautiful vegetables and gravy on here. Now the bad part about this actually, guys, is the gravy itself. It's that packaged gravy in the excellent count so this is it guys my supper for tonight let me get it all in <laughs> this should be something else this is going to be good I just have to thank the Lord for this and we'll eat and it's now 10 after 7 so the minute you start eating 2 hours later after that so 10 after 9 we're going to check out my numbers again. I'll bring you back then. Okay, guys, let's check out the um, blood sugar before I eat and then two hours after I eat. Let's just see what we're going to have here. Need a strip. Poke at the old finger. Do we have blood? There we go. All right, let's see what we got. 5.7 before we have, uh, before we eat. And then this minute we start eating, and that's when we start counting our two hours. Okay, guys, it's two hours later. Let's have a look, see what my numbers are now after I have eaten. get blood oh yeah we have blood all right 11.4 beautiful beautiful you see what I'm saying starchy food after meal and Okay, 11.4.